Hey guys, welcome back to the Austin Lindsay channel. So today I'm making a random photography arm out of some stuff I found on Facebook Marketplace. So I love looking in the uh, miscellaneous section because there's always just random stuff. It might be stuff that people don't know the value to or it might be maybe they do know the value but they just want to get rid of it fast. So I found these Dynavox stands. They're I think for medical devices, but I found a couple of them. There's a person selling the whole bundle for 20 bucks. Really what I bought them for is to get these ratcheting uh, handles for. Then I decided that I could probably take these things and make like a nice photography arm out of them. So what I've done is pulled off these ends on this side. I'm gonna take these quarter 20 to three eighths adapters and I'm gonna JB weld them inside here. The idea is I'm gonna have a quarter 20 side on one end and then I'm gonna do a 3 8 side on the other end. I kind of had a few different schools of thought. I was gonna take a couple of these and just thread or weld them into the ends and then have the quarter 20 and then a 3 8 on one side. Uh, but then I decided a lot of stands have this end on it already. So if I use the female inserts, then I can actually thread this onto a top of a stand like the one I have here. Or then I could put in some of these extra adapters I have if I wanted to and then make a male end on the either side. So first we're gonna put down this um, cardboard thingy so I can mix the JB weld onto it. I have a little magnet here so it doesn't fly all over the table. I got some toothpicks to mix the two together and we're gonna see how this goes. place a little pieces of cardboard on here between either side. That way when I slide this down into the tube, it won't fall all the way down. All right, so if you can see on here, I've got to weld it up on this side here. Doesn't look like it's gonna be a very pretty looking weld. But as long as it's functional, then that's what matters the most. I have this little uh, contraption here that's going to be able to hold this thing while it dries, and then I'll come back and check it. guys it's been a full day and now these things have dried and cured so I was actually pretty lucky that these things fit within the diameter of these because like I say I just bought these off the marketplace and it was just kind of a luck of the draw that these things actually fit in here I'll post a link in the description to these things they're very handy to have around so as you can see I had to uh, just run a Dremel on this thing because some of the cardboard was stuck to the uh, JB weld so now I can put some of these adapters onto the end of here so now I can put this on top of a light stand here and then maybe put a light on top of here there's just endless possibilities now with this arm. So this really isn't a tutorial or anything. I just thought I would share this video and kind of this idea of how you can take things and modify them and just build tools for yourself out of just ordinary objects. So if you guys do have any questions, leave them in the comments field. I'll do my best to answer them. And thanks everyone for watching.